So Zer's arrived, and you can see here in the tower, there's no symbol and there are no flowers, which means he ain't here. So he must be on the reef. Let's go. All right, here we are on the reef, and sure enough, yep, there's someone in there, so that means Zer is over here on the reef. Here he is. Let's see what he's got. He has a chest engram. It is a legacy engram, so he's got a chest legacy engram. He has the Taken Ort at 106 stats, so uh, reasonably good. Just getting into that bracket where it might be something worth getting. If you don't have a Taken Ort and you fire rockets that aren't Gallahorn or don't have tracking, but uh, something that might have, say, tripod and cluster bombs or tripod and grenades and horseshoes. I have a, a, an ash factory like that, actually. Um, I quite like the Taken Ort with my Titan for that particular purpose. It gives it tracking as well. Makes it a bit like a mini truth. Uh, the young Ahamkara's spine for the trip mine grenades. It gives you an extra trip mine and it increases the duration of trip mines. I like these gauntlets for my hunter. I don't use them as much as I used to. I don't tend to run Gunslinger as often as I used to, but they're not bad. They don't have very good stats, though. 89 out of 99. A uh, single pure discipline. You're never going to get great stats on a pure uh, stat type of roll. The Ram is a pretty good helmet. This one has 103 roll. If you like running your Void Walker, it's quite good. I used to run this all the time on my, war uh, on my Warlock. Uh, particularly like the fact that every time you melee, you get lifesteal on a hit. It uh, makes it particularly good because you can then use Soul Rip and recharge your Nova Bomb much quicker uh, when you use your Energy Drain melee. Uh, moving on, the Red Death is the weapon of choice this week brought to us by Zer. Pretty good pulse rifle. If you don't have it, I'd recommend grabbing this. If you do have it, well then I wouldn't worry about it. It's only at 350 for me. I'm a level 400 on all three characters, and I already have a 400... No, 399 Red Death, so I'm not going to pick this one up, obviously. The ornaments had, he's got this week, Shock Hazard for the Zalo Supercell. Not a bad one. And the Queen's Command for the Telesto. In fact, I might even have the Telesto on this character. Let's have a look. Here it is here. Let's have a look and see. So Queen's Command looks like... This it's the the pink one. So if you like pinky purple uh, sort of weapons, you like to carry them around, then that is a good ornament for you. I won't be grabbing it. Do I have the Zalo here? No, I do not. But I thought I had it. I must have transferred it out. But uh, the shock hazard is the other one. Plasma drive. If you want to upgrade your rare sparrow. Uh, or the Emerald Coil, and he's got, again, the Heavy Ammo Synths, the single most effective and efficient, most cost-effective, economical way to rank up your factions if you are below 390. If you're not yet 390, farm Strange Coins, go see this guy and get as many, as many Heavy Ammo Synths as you possibly can. The single best way to rank up. Uh, if you have the exotic class item, if you've reached tw rank 25 on your faction, put that class item on. 31 strange coins will get you enough heavy ammo synths to rank up your faction. 92 strange coins will rank you up three times. Then what you do is you then change over to your highest light mark, cloak, or bond, and you collect the rank up package with your highest light. Then you whack the exotic class item back on, and you just rank up again, smash them out, rinse and repeat, over and over and over. If you don't have the class item, then 101 strange coins will rank you up three times. It's worth getting the class item if you're rank 25, you're not yet 390. See this guy, get as many heavy ammo synths as you can, and smash out those faction packages. He's also got the three of coins, which is a useful method uh, for farming exotic uh, engrams, and you can go and see places like the Iron Tomb or the Black Garden or a bunch of other locations and smash out those kinds of things. Even Regicide, you can use uh, the Three of Coins. You get multiple drops in the one mission. 
Then we have the glass needles, which will re-roll your exotic armor if you have the right materials. If you go here to this twist fate node, you can use the glass needles to reset the perks and the stats. Uh, you may or may not get better stats. You may or may not get better perks. The rolls are completely random. So use it at your leisure. And then we've got a quite expensive uh, materials exchange here for motes of light, two strange coins. I wouldn't bother. What I would do here is farm heavy ammo since if you're above 390 get the three of coins and farm the daylights out of those things because by doing that it is going to be the best way to rank you up and there it is that's that Zer is in the reef if you got something out of this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want regular updates hit me up on instagram on twitter and you can find me on twitch from time to time Boiler Room 81 is my gamer tag. It's also my handle on all of those. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.